Cornucopia Radio presents The Last Person in This Place by Peter Beeston. to know who they are. Who could live like this? Don't move. Put your hands where I can see them and turn around slowly. Very slowly. Please, you have to help. I'm looking for... Read this. What? Look, you have to... Read this. What does it say? Uh, 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 Capital A... Capital K, lower case uh, F, um, uh, number five, number two, lower case T. Good enough. You're the first real person I've come across in six weeks. I was beginning to think there was nobody left. You shouldn't travel alone like this. Spam bots and cam whores patrol the area. They'll rip you apart if they catch you. Come on. I know a safe band profile we can hide behind. They posted some album demos around three months ago. We can listen to them while we plan our next move. What happened here? What happened to MySpace? I need to know. It's important. You know what happened. They died. They left. This world burned itself down to the ground as I watched. That's in the past. Come on, we have to go. You don't understand. I've come here to find answers. I don't belong here. I've come here from Facebook. (sighs) You're a long way from home. It started happening to us. You'll be okay. You've got the numbers, you've got the people. We'll find a way to fight it. (sighs) That's what Mark keeps telling me. He says it's nothing to worry about. But I'm seeing it happen all around me. People are leaving. The spam is increasing. And I think the cool people... I think the cool people have already gone. We just woke up one morning and they weren't there anymore. Well, that's how it starts. The cool people are always the first to go. Oh, please, you have to help us. There has to be a cure. (laughs) Oh, a cure? Don't you think I've tried that? I spent years in my bunker trying to halt the decline across this land. I've tried redesign after redesign. I've added applications. I've added customizations. Nothing has worked. All I've done is kill more people. I've sacrificed good users for nothing. Now the only good I can do is hunt the evil that infests this accursed place. But this morning I woke up to find I only had 187 friends left. You must have some advice to give us. Please, give me anything. Give me something. 187? I have nobody left. Nobody. But why? You could have moved. The great MySpace refuge exodus of 2009. You could have come to Facebook. We had room in our kingdom. We needed people like you. Whoever you are. No, you... 
You can't rebuild a castle like the one I created. I thought I mattered to every friend, because every friend mattered to me. Now I realize that friend is just another word, and when everybody left, the meaning of that word became clear to me. You can't put everything that's important to you in one single place. The risk is too great. If it matters to you, then you keep it everywhere. You have to understand, your profile is the life you live and the people you touch. What are you saying? I'm saying you have to start listening. But more importantly, you have to get down! <laughs> are you okay? You saved me. What were they? Herbal Viagra spam monsters. I've been tracking them for days. We should be safe for a while. Thank you. You came here looking for a cure. Hoping to make sure that what happened to MySpace never happens to Facebook. But maybe you don't need a cure because maybe we're the disease. Maybe this world is better off without these places we walk, because ultimately, all we've done is give the monsters more power. But how will I define my life? Like people used to. One day at a time. Follow that road and don't stop till you reach the end. It'll lead you to safety. What about you? I have a lot of sins to pay for. And until I've made amends for each one, I'll always be here. Doing what I do. Bethany. What? That's my name. Bethany. Well, it's been good to meet you, Bethany. What about you? What do they call you? Nobody has called me anything for a long time. But once, people used to call me Tom. But you... You can call me a friend. I never saw him again. He just walked off into that desolate city, seemingly prepared to continue his never-ending mission. As for myself, I followed the road to safety. But... I never went home to Facebook. Instead, I chose a different path. I'm still not sure where it'll lead, but then again, that's half the fun. The Last Person in This Place was written by Peter Beeston and featured Luanne McTiernan as Beth and Kevin M. Connolly as Tom. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons agreement. For more information, visit cornucopia-radio.co.uk The Cornucopia Radio Show Podcast. Proving there's more to the internet than just pornography, skateboarding dogs, and Nigerian businessmen.